everybody welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you how to do this ponytail quick weave slash sewing so let's get into it so right now all i did was sectioned off her hair and i braided the section where i'm going to do the sewing and i have the top section sectioned out where i'm going to do the ponytail and excuse my nephews um yeah this is my niece she's a hard working mama and i am so proud of her because she works very hard and she keeps herself up and that's what we as women should be doing no matter what age we are and yeah i don't want to get too deep into that because that's a whole nother video but niecy i am so proud of you and you keep doing your thing so back to the video so what i'm going to do now is i'm taking this section and i'm sectioning it off and i'm going to put it into a ponytail because this is where we're going to do the quick weave at the bottom is where we're going to do the sew in and then i left out a small section and i put them in two little plaits because that's going to be where we do the leave out So all I'm doing here is just getting this ponytail section nice and neat and prepped and ready to be put up so that we can do the quick weave ponytail at the top. And right now what I'm doing, I'm just taking the weave hair and I'm sewing back and forth straight across. And I'm only going to do that up until where the top of her ears are because you want the sewing to lay as flat as possible so the sides won't be really like sticking out. So once I get above her ear, I'm going to begin to cut the tracks because I'm going to sew them one by one. And ladies, I know you don't want to cut those bundles and stuff like that. And so for this style, I don't recommend that you would get the expensive bundles, not unless you want to, but if you just want a real quick and easy style and you don't mind your um, hair getting, you know, cut so that it can be sewn flat, then this is the way to go. You could just get any kind of hair, as long as it's 100% human, you should be fine. So I'm going to begin to do the blunt cut bob. And I don't like to cut straight across, only because I feel like that's too blunt, but if the customer wants that, then that's what I'll do. So I do a lot of point cutting. So I just took my scissors on an angle and I just cut it on a point and I just make sure that it's going into a straight bob just make sure it's lined up really even and the hair that's in the front you just want to make sure you just drag it all the way back and just keep point cutting in a straight line Pull the hair back, point cut in a straight line, and then that should automatically let the hair graduate into a bob on its own.
So I finished doing the cut and I did take that section where her leave out was and I just pressed it out. That's um, kind of self-explanatory. You could just press that out really good. And then I just took a white wrap strip and I made sure that I secured it around the ponytail really nicely so that when we go to do the quick weave and glue the hair on the top, no hair will be on her ponytail. And you want to make sure that you take and you spray it really, really good with some spritz so that the paper does not move and shift because you do not want that ponytail to fly off. So just make sure that wrap strip is really, really hard once you spray it with the hairspray. And now what I'm doing is I'm just taking the weave hair and I apply some glue to the weft and I'm just simply gluing it around in a circle starting at the very top. You want to make sure that you start at the very top so that that white paper doesn't show. I didn't have the black wrap strips because and that would have been a little bit better, you know, so that um, it could camouflage. But if you start at the top like I did like this. You won't see it either way so um yeah make sure you just start gluing the hair all the way at the top first and then work your way down now i like to blow dry a little bit so that the glue can dry because if you just go in and glue and try to wrap it's going to start sliding all around so you want to be able so you want to blow dry the glue a little bit just so it can get a little bit tacky and then that way that will stop the slippage so i just finished that up and i just took a small piece of hair and wrapped it around so that you won't see the weave or the tracks and this is the final look guys don't forget to subscribe and thanks so much for watching